Rachel again. We're going to do another Halloween. Wave, Mama. Jenny's here. She's helping. Always in the background. Always full of great ideas. She's filming us today, and we sure do appreciate her help. Uh, we're going to do another Halloween mesh wreath, and this one we're going to call Boo. It's Halloween. <laughs> we're going to use this um, Jazz Katina mesh that's um, black and white stripe. I guess that's a ladder stripe. Yeah. And we're going to use this Halloween um, ombre mesh. We are really liking the ombre. We've seen a lot of it and we like the way it looks. So we're going to give it a try on this boo wreath for you today. So we're going to cut the black and white mesh in 30 inch sections. We are just, again, so grateful to Lori, the hard working mom, who said, let's try our mesh in 30 inch sections first. We really feel like that um, leaves you with less, you know, loose threads and everything at the end. And we think a 30 inch section is going to work again on this wreath. And we just want to thank Lori, the hardworking mom, for that little tidbit. So we're going to do that one in 30, and we're going to do the ombre in 20 inch and stack them that way. Okay? Ruffles again? Is that just kind of see one? Thank you. There. And then we've been playing with the, the placement here. Got some exciting things happening with this wreath. I can't so wait to show you. Put that one ruffle in and then we'll cut the rest of it. I'm going to start with the outer rim of this 10 inch. inch. This is a, tw this is a 24, 24 inch. 24, sorry. 24 inch work wreath mm -hmm. in copper. And it measures 24 inches when you extend the tips from tip to tip. That's where the 24 inches comes from. Great. Correct, Thank you. Mother? <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's kind of the look we're going for. So we'll now we'll cut the mesh and um, and continue on. 30 inches and 20 inches. Right. Okay. Okay. So we've gone all the way around. We did this one test ruffle over here with the wide, black and white, wide full. We're just clipping a few strings. All mesh will ravel. So we're just trying to get some of the big ones. Now we're gonna go back and, with the ombre and go with the 20 inch pieces and go over on top of the 30 inch pieces. Open it back up and put this ruffle in on top of the black and white ruffle. Take it all the way, open it all the way to the center and put that one on the top. I'm just simply taking our 20 inch pieces, mm -hmm. folding them up like an accordion to make my ruffle with the ombre mesh. Carrie's opening the twist ties and inserting that ombre mesh ruffle with the black and white mesh. We're going to go all the way around this wreath 
putting the ombre on top of the stripe. All right, next we want to add these indoor-outdoor lights. Um, they have eight functions. They can blink. They can stay steady on. They can do all kinds of stuff. Do all kinds of stuff, kind of do a little strobe light thing, but they are battery-operated, and it takes three double A's. That does not in come included with the lights, but... All right. So how... What we're going to do is I'm simply going to take my strand here of the lights. How many lights is on that strand? 48. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kind of weave it in and out of my twist tie. And I like that they're cool lights, not warm. I do too. We have a variety. And for this wreath with the black strand, I did pick the cool light. I, normally, I do like a warm light over a cool light, but now for this actual wreath, I wanted that look. So these are cool lights, and they are on a black strand, and they even have a timer. So, if you <laughs> can tell, our making mama so proud. You read the box, <laughs> and I really like the lights. They're available. She can't think of anything else she would add. <laughs> they are available on Trendy Tree's website too. TrendyTree.com. Yep. I think we're going to actually be able to include them in the kit. Oh. I have to talk with Miss Jenny about that, but that's our goal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So I'm just weaving my strand of lights all the way around, picking up a piece. As we go through, I was not fired up about it, but I do kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I usually have to convince Carrie on some things. Yeah. What's my famous saying? Just trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hard sometimes. <laughs> we'll have enough? Mm -hmm. Yep. 48 lights. All right. We've got a... Uh, 24-inch work wreath yes. here. Yeah. What are you going to do with that little battery pack? I am going to hide it on the back mm -hmm. with a chenille stem. Alright. Going back around. So, I will end the lights here at what will be the bottom of the wreath. I'm just going to take my cord, move it around to the back of the wreath. Would you like a... How about purple? That'll be great. And of course, inside of this work wreath... Flip it over where the, you can get to the button. Right. There's a simple button where you can turn the lights on and off. And I'm just going to work this chenille stem into the back of my wreath form. And <laughs> it ought to lay just fine. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and actually, just to, to give more security, I believe I'm going to need two There's chenille stems. On your arm. <laughs> it's hard to work around here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my other chenille stem and just simply run it through the wire form on the back of the mesh wreath and come back around with it and tie it off. So there you have it. Your battery pack is secure in the wreath mm -hmm. form and you can easily get to your on and off button, which this button also determines what mode your lights are on. So now they're blinking. So I'm a little bit loose there. Just going to tuck it in with a tinsel tie. And there you have it. The lights are on the wreath now. You want me to turn the lights off and see if they show up more? Sure. Come on. Ooh, it's getting spooky in here. 
Okay. Look at that. You want to hit another mode? Let it close. Sure. Let's go, dude. Faster. That's faster. Ooh. That's seizure causing. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like, those. I like steady on. Yeah, mm -hmm. wherever that okay. is. Is that it? That's steady on. Okay. Okay. Steady like on. Turning the lights back on. And we're up. These things are. I think these battery lights are great. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Now, sign attachment. Or okay. Hand attachment. We've got this sign here. Hence the name of our wreath, Boo. And That's I'm going to call David. <laughs> this is David's wreath. <laughs> I'm going to simply cut my tag off here. And the great thing about all these signs that most of them have some type of hanger. This has a, a ribbon hanger. So it's going to make it really easy to just attach it into my wreath. Again, just with a twist tie. I really like these work wreaths. That's, you know, you can pick up, you can put, you can add whatever you want to. The sky's the limit because you've always got a twist tie that's wired mm -hmm. and it's easy to work with. Plus, I feel like it gives a great look for Halloween, the color. I like it. So there's our boo. Now we're going to introduce the skeleton hands with the spider. So we've got our purple, our lime green, and our orange, but on the orange one, I've already broke off the hand <laughs> at the wrist joint because I just want the hand to look like he's holding the boo sign. So I'm going to lay my other hands down Gently. with the scary spider, and I'm going to take um, just a simple piece of floral wire and run my floral wire around the thumb joint. <laughs> Miss Jenny, probably put it through the hole of that. Of the B sign. Yep, there's a hole here in the top of the B. So I'm gonna run it through my wire, through my thumb, and the hole in the B. And secure that on there with my floral wire. Okay, so we've got our hand, and we've got our spider on our hand. I'm just going to cut off my extra here on my wire. Making sure that wire is secure around the B. Okay, so I've got my orange hand here to hold the boo sign at the top. Not really, we just want it to look like that. And then I'm going to use my lime green hand down here at the bottom. And you've cut that stem. I have cut that stem. A little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. Because now then I can easily attach my stem with a tinsel tie. And that will secure the hand on the bee. There's a little light right there, so that's good too, from where we had put that light in the tinsel tie earlier. Boo. Boo. <laughs> okay. Now, can you make me a bow and work my purple hand in the bow? I can. And we've already attached, sec double secured this one with the little Chanel stem as we were testing it earlier. Mm -hmm. Shall I hang it on the wall while she makes the bow? Sure. I don't have a... Okay, so when I got my um, wreath hung, um, the uh, orange hand was still a little loose, just the top finger here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab one of the fingers 
with my copper twist tie and it's a great thing because the fingers are coppery orange as well and I'm just going to secure that hand in here with my copper twist tie. Remember it's wired to the V and now it's secured in here with the copper twist tie. The spider is attached by wire to that thumb sort of like this on the skeleton's hand. So I think it's all nice and secure now. So now that it's hanging up, I'm going to go ahead and add a bow at the top and my purple hand. But actually, I think I want to add the bow at the bottom. I'm sorry. That's okay. Looking at it, I don't want to cover up my boo with my ribbon. I don't cover up my boo either. So I'm going to add my bow at the bottom of the wreath. So I've just measured off 35 inch piece and another 35 inch piece. To be 70. Which would be a total of 70. My math skills. Cut it at an angle here. And I'm going to take one loop, leaving my tail. That's an easy. Second loop. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Third me. loop. Fourth loop. And then my fifth loop there in the center. And then if I could just have another chenille stem, please, ma'am. Gold is great. I've never seen you make a little bow. Well, I just figured we have a lot going We get a lot, and I like it. Mm -hmm. But normally you like bigger. I do think I'm going to come back, though, when I get my um, length here, and I'm going to add a couple of long streamers to the bow. She loves a streamer. One. Would you like for me to cut it? Yes, cut it at 35, please. So I just pinched my streamer, my streamer piece in the center there, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it inside of the Chanel stem as well. Chanel. Chanel. Chanel number five. No, not today. Okay. And I'm going to bring my purple hand here. Probably going to snap him off too, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm just going to cut him short right now. Leaving just a little bit there at the bottom so I can pick it up with my Chanel stem. Oh, Lord. There was a phone or something over here. <laughs> Got my hand secured in the center of my bow. My streamers. I'm just gonna attach it here. Okay. Sorry. Would you like for me to lay it down on the table? That's no, good. that's good. And using my gold chenille stem, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna simply attach my bow to my tinsel tie. And then I'm going to make sure that my hand does, will stay in place with that same tinsel tie. Snip off a finger. Wrap that around there. Make sure my bow looks okay. I might um, clean up the ends now just with, the, just with an angle cut. That end looks good to me, and I'm just going to do a dovetail here at the bottom of the streamer. One. All right. Well, that looks good. We're going to put this one in a kit. 
Um, it measures about 27 inches across. Um, and we like it. All the supplies came from Trendy Tree, and Mom will start working on the... You should have the link to the kit. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I've got a purple, I've got a lime green, and I've got an orange. <laughs> I broke it. We're going to use it. They sometimes, they break. It's okay. It happens. Well, you can cut all this out, aren't you?